Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the second part of my collection tour and I'll be introducing my manga collection. If you haven't watched the first part, you can watch it later at the end. It'll be mainly about my light novel collection. Let's first start off with a shonen jump manga called Witch Watch. The story of Witch Watch revolves around this girl, her name is Nico. She is a witch and she has a guardian who is responsible to watch over her to prevent disasters from happening. Because guess what? She is a ponkatsu. This is a decent comedy series and I think if you like Gintama, you can check this out. It's actually pretty funny. I'm still reading the first volume but I'm interested to find out the many characters that will appear in this manga. It's a relatively new manga and I have it up to volume 7. Next up, we have Dandadan. Dan. It's a very very popular series that is currently being serialized on Shonen Jump Plus. It's about a world that has both aliens and spirits and the protagonists are trying to fix the world they're living in. The story is super interesting, you can never see what's coming next, and I highly recommend this if you love shonen mangas. I also have this up to volume 7, and I can't wait to read the rest. The next manga is a new series that came out in 2022, and I already loved it. It's a fantasy comedy series about this black cat as a teacher in a magic academy, and he used to be the strongest magician in the world. I don't want to spoil it further, please read it and enjoy the story. This is volume 3, the latest volume, and I highly recommend this manga. Next up, we have a few volumes of Boarding School Juliet. I saw these special edition volumes on Mercury and I immediately bought them. It is pretty rare and you can see here we have the illustration collection and volume 0 of the manga. It's a very highly rated manga and I want to collect the full series eventually. This is volume 16, the final volume so it's not a long story. Next up, we have Ayakashi Triangle. The anime is currently airing and I want to recommend this manga if you like the anime. It's an action manga about spirits and ninjas with some rom-com and edgy elements. Needless to say, Kentaro Yabuki's drawing is amazing and I think this series is worth collecting. Also, the story gets more interesting over time and I like it. I have it up to volume 11 and you can see the anime adaptation announcement there. The next series is also from Shonen Jump, it's called Blue Box. It's a decent sports and romance series which is not very common in Shonen Jump. The story is fresh and relatable, I love the dynamics between the characters, the sports element is also being emphasized well enough and I highly recommend you to check this out if you like reading the romance genre. To be honest, I think it's kind of shoujo and I know some female YouTubers who really like this manga as well. I think this series is a comfort read and I have it till volume 7. Next one, we have the cafeterias and its goddesses. It features 5 main heroines and the male protagonist who are running a cafe left by his late grandmother. The early chapters are just okay but I saw good reviews from the Japanese readers for later volumes so I'm intrigued to find out where the story will go. This series will be receiving an anime adaptation as well but it's done by the same studio who did the Queen Essential Quintuplet season 1 so I did not expect much from them. I would recommend the manga over the anime. It's also a pretty new series so I have it up to volume 7. Moving on to the next shelf, we are greeted with a full row of To Love Rue. From volume 1 to volume 10, here's the first part of the manga and the next 10 volumes are the second part of the manga which is called To Love Rue Darkness. If you had not heard of it, this is a classic rom-com Echi Harem series that was being serialized more than 10 years ago on Shonen Jump. The ones I fear are in the Bunko edition, which means that their size is similar to a light novel. They also have completely redesigned covers, which are absolutely gorgeous. This is a series that made me fall in love with Kentaro Yabuki's drawing style, and I'm so happy that I have the full collection here. Just look at this cover. This is To Love Through Darkness, which I heard is even better than the first part of To Love Through. I'm still reading the first part very slowly, but I will catch up with it someday. This is the final volume which marks the end of this legendary series. 
Next we have Look Back. This is a one-shot manga from Tatsuki Fujimoto, the author of Chainsaw Man. This is a great manga about two young girls who draw manga. As expected from him, the artwork is so beautiful and if you want to read this, be prepared for the emotions that are coming. Anyways, I highly recommend this. Next up is Sakamoto Days from Shonen Jump. I haven't read this yet but I have seen so many positive reviews about this manga. It is an action comedy manga featuring Sakamoto who is this guy in the middle and he used to be the greatest hitman of all time. However, he is now working as a convenience store clerk after he fell in love with a woman. Next up, we have Free Ren, Beyond Journey's End. It's my favorite manga in this collection. This is not your typical fantasy story. The story is about Free Ren. It is this elf in the middle who can live for a really long time, like thousands of years. It's a story about life, death, and memory. You can get emotional very easily with the bittersweet story. The artwork is also impeccable, they are gorgeous, and I highly highly recommend this to anyone who loves manga in general. This volume 8 is probably the next on my reading list. And then we have a tiny collection of One Piece. The only reason I bought this was because of volume 100. One Piece always has a special place in my heart, I love it so much, and I want to collect the entire series eventually. Next up, we have a full row of domestic girlfriend. The story starts with Natsuo, the main character, living with a pair of stepsisters after his father's remarriage. A lot of drama happened between the characters in this story, also love triangles and many more. The first thing that attracted me to this manga is actually the art. It is very beautiful, almost like a shoujo art style even though this is a shonen manga. I have seen mixed reviews about this manga, but I want to find out how I feel about it myself. I am currently at volume 6 and I'm still enjoying it. I have a complete collection of these up to volume 28 and you'll see more of these at the row behind. I also have the official derivative work which is a must buy for the fans of this series. Next up, we have the quintessential quintuplets. I believe you can tell that I'm a big fan of rom-com series from my collection and this is one of my favorites. I have had a few videos about this on my channel, it is also probably the most popular rom-com series out there, and I have the complete series here in full color which is pretty rare for physical mangas. I have also watched the anime movie twice and I am very happy to see the finale of this series. This is the final volume, the cover art is just gorgeous. As I said just now, there are a few more volumes of Domestic Girlfriend here and these are the special edition volumes with the booklets. These are volume 20 to 25. I also have these limited edition volumes with a lot of bonus stuffs and I'll probably do an unboxing of this in future. It's super beautiful as well. We have finally reached the last row of my bookshelf. You can see that I have two Japanese textbooks here which I'm using to learn Japanese. This covers between level N1 to N5 and it's fine. Next up, we have Darling in the Franks. I enjoy the anime and I see the manga as a complement to the anime. It has a slightly different development compared to the anime and they fix some bad parts in the anime. However, the ending of the manga feels kinda rushed and it didn't hit me as hard as the anime did. I wouldn't particularly recommend this manga unless you're a fan of the series. On a side note, this manga is drawn by Kentaro Yabuki so you can expect some amazing artwork from it. Next up, we have Adabana. This manga is very different from the rest of my collection. It is a psychological manga that concludes in just 3 volumes. From the reviews I read, there will be a lot of plot twists and you can expect to cry reading it. It sounds super interesting so I thought I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and read it. Next up, we have a one-shot manga called The Future As I See It. It is a very special manga in the sense that this manga is a collection of the author's dreams which could predict the future. It was initially published in 1999 and it successfully predicted some major incidents including the massive earthquake and tsunami in Japan in March 2011. There is a prediction that says that a huge disaster will occur in July of 2025, so you can pick this up if you're interested.
Lastly, I have some illustration books here. This big one here is the first illustration book from Genshin Impact. I have made an unboxing video on it on my channel, please check it out if you're interested. Next up, we have the illustration book of Do Your Best Doki-chan. It is a collection of illustrations by the artist Yomu. The artwork he posted on his Twitter account is so good and I highly recommend you to check it out. But I have to say that it is borderline NSFW, so view it at your own discretion. Next up, we have Sora Online Material Edition Remix. It is a collection of short stories from the author that are different from the ones published in the light novel. You might want to check this out if you are a fan of SAO. Next, we have this illustration book from an illustrator I really like. I am planning to do a separate video on art books, so make sure you are subscribed to see it. Next up, we have the official complete guidebook of Origairu. I am a big fan of this series and I bought this as soon as it was released. And finally, we have some illustration books from Teasing Master Takagi-san. There is a flip through on my channel, please check it out if you are interested. This is the second volume, and this is the third volume. Well, that's all for my bookshelf tour. I've only started collecting this last year, so it's not a huge collection yet. If you enjoyed this video and you want to follow along with my collection journey, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any manga recommendations, please feel free to let me know, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!